Want to look like you shot on film but don't want to pay the cost of development? Well, this is how to get a cinematic grade with just five notes. My name is Nicholas Acosta, and over my 15-year career as a director and VFX artist, I've become a master at working at next to no budget. On this channel, you learn my tips and tricks on how to make 100 bucks look like 100 million. This is Unrendered Media. So I've been getting a lot of tech questions lately, some on what camera and software I use, and others on how to fix some technical issues. So I've decided to expand a bit and talk about some of the technical methods I use to make my films, starting with color grading. Now first, color grading is subjective. My style may not match your style, but I think it's safe to say that we're all trying to get that cinematic look without having to break the bank. And you can easily do that with just five nodes. First start with the CST or color space transform. Second is your primaries. Third is another CST. Fourth is your print LUT. And fifth is your black point. In the CST node, you're gonna add the color space transform tool and set your input to the color space and gamma of your camera. You'll set the output color space to DaVinci wide gamut and your gamma to DaVinci intermediate. In your third node, you'll do the same, except this time your input will be DaVinci wide gamut and the gamma will be DaVinci intermediate. For your output, set the color space to Rec. 709 and the gamma to Cineon Film Log. Now first you'll be like, whoa, this looks terrible, but don't worry, you're just getting it set up for the next step, which is to use a free LUT that comes with DaVinci Resolve. To find it, go to your LUTs and search for the Film Looks folder. There you'll find the Kodak 2383 print stocks. Select the D60 version and apply it to the node. And look at that, it already looks halfway there. Though my trick to taking it to the next level is by selecting your final node, then go to your log color wheels, then grab your lift to slowly edge it in the direction you need to level out the blacks in your shadows. And boom, now just use the primaries to adjust your image to your liking. And that's it, which is five nodes where you're able to take our digital footage and give it a photochemical look. My name is Nicholas Acosta from Unrendered Media. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.